Hello guys and welcome to our today's tutorial. First of all, I would like to thank all my new subscribers. And in our today's tutorial, I will be responding to an email sent to me by one of my subscribers. And I will read the email. She says, Greetings, my name is Mary. I hope this finds you well, Director. I have watched your tutorials and honestly, you know how to deliver content in a simple and easy way that anyone watching it can understand. I have been trying to learn Adobe Illustrator and poster design. I am requesting that you make a tutorial on how to design a poster using AI. I need to be designing posters for my home church every week. I am waiting for your positive response. So I want just to say thank you so much Mary for sending me this email and I will respond to it by just a simple tutorial and I will basically use uh, the, my posters, the ones that I make for my home church. I hope that you will uh, learn this. And if you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Director uh, Kazungu Duncan, the Director and Founder Aero Productions Company. And uh, we shall be using AI, of course you will have to open it and if you don't have uh, AI or Adobe Illustrator, you will need to go to uh, the website, Adobe uh, website and download this uh, free Adobe Illustrator and have the seven days free and you can learn it by yourself the way Mary sh says she's learning, she's learning it by herself. So, <clears throat> and I want to say you can also uh, edit your posters using uh, Photoshop. It's also an Adobe uh, package or an Adobe uh, software. Like uh, if I open it, you can design something like this. Like this is a thumbnail that I created. I mean, I designed for my uh, for my Premiere Pro um, tutorial. I also made a sample here. Like you see, it's beautiful. You can still use it. And of course, if you need PNG uh, images, for example, you want to have the image for your pasta you have to remove the background and you will basically use uh, photoshop for removing backgrounds for example i did that uh, here yeah like this it had a background and i removed the background to remain with a png a png image is an image that does not have a background it has a transparent uh, background so first of all you'll hover on to ai or uh, adobe illustrator you'll have to create a new uh, a new document and you will choose a preset if you want to use a4 if you want to use a3 if you want to use uh, a5 it depends or a custom one but i guess the most used uh, um, are a4 or a3 but if you also need something like a flyer you can use a5 or so on so you'll have to give it a name for example I'll just call it tutorial, uh, tutorial for example one if uh, that is the name you want it it, it, it it should not be something so complicated just a simple one then leave the profile to be custom in the size i will use f3 if you can you can choose a preset that you want you can see before and all that and if you know the dimensions you can enter the dimensions here you can change even the dimensions for points pikers inches millimeters centimeters and pixels so you will change them here and come and insert the uh, the specific uh, specific uh, dimensions that you want so for example for me i will use a3 i'll choose a3 and i will also choose an orientation so in uh, some people may want to use orientation that is portrait but for me i want to use a landscape uh, orientation that is it's suiting i like it when it is a, a landscape the bleed the bleed is the distance that it will live from the margin so for me i just want it to be zero but you can put there maybe 0 0.5 pixels or 1 1.0 pixels it depends with um, the kind of uh, bleeding you want to leave on your on your margin then the color mode you can choose between red green blue and uh, cmyk so for you if you're doing for print you have to choose cmyk if you're doing for web you have to choose uh, c i mean rgb for red green blue but for example i want for print so i'll go for uh, cmyk then the resolution the resolution if you have you want to do for 
for web it you'll you'll choose uh, 72 and uh, medium of course if you want something also for web but for web is recommended to use 72 and if you want for print you use 300 300 is the highest resolution that you can choose so for example for me i'll use 300 then leave this to be default and then <coughs> after everything is set this way then i'll just click ok so it will automatically create an a blank page an a3 and orientation will be of course a landscape so this is my working area now before you design a poster you have to uh, imagine you have to think that how what do i want to achieve how do i want my uh, poster to look like i need an image yes i need a logo if my church has a logo i need the title of uh, the church that's the name of the church I also need the topic of uh, for example if they are talking about how to live beyond crisis or how to overcome uh, in the time of maybe hardship you think of what is the topic that I want to uh, uh, talk about or I want to design then think about the verse the key verse that the, your preacher is using maybe you can inquire from him what verse will be talking about so <clears throat> you have to think before you create a poster think in your mind create a poster in your mind and now try to put it on uh, this uh, software and manipulate it so for example for me i need a, a an image for my pastor i need a logo for my church i need the name of the church i need the topic of the church i need the verse of the day and i also need the time and the date yeah th those are critical things that you have to put and in case you have social media maybe for example you have uh, facebook you have twitter you have youtube you have to also put there in case you just need people to follow you also on your social platforms so for example the, the one thing i want is i need an image for my pastor so i'll go just uh, where i have put my images for example if uh, i've saved it i think is in uh, so the image should be, you can either use a, a JPEG or use a, a PNG, but for this sake I'll use PNG. So I'll look for my image and uh, I would want to use this or even this, the one that uh, will make you, I mean, happy. It should be a good image or even this, both of them are good. So for example, if I want to choose this, I, can, I just drag and drop you can drag and drop is the easiest way you drag and drop that is the easiest way or you control shift p for placing or you uh, you go to file and then open or control or there are so many shortcuts that you can use to bring the image here but for the shortest one you just drag and drop because uh, we need uh, shortcuts and you need to increase on your speed although shortcuts may help you to achieve uh, what you want at a very faster rate so you can see the image is too big i will want also to resize it so i'll just make sure when you're resizing it if you're using cc 2017 and below you have to hold shift and alt or at least shift but if you're using 2019 or 2020 you will not need that because it's already uh, set so that you you can just adjust it and it will be uh, drawn to scale so the, the reason why we are holding either shift or alt is that you want it to be as uniform as possible because you don't want to have something that is stretched the pixels are stretched and all and so on and so forth so i would place there my image that is uh, uh, my pastor is reverend benedict so i'll place there his image and uh, after the image is placed there also think i need in the background to have something like for example i have some people sitting in the background for example i take a picture in the church when people are seated then i'll come and put it here or i just put a congregation so that people may also know you see these images draw something to the people so i would also want an image maybe for the church so i'll i'll go and seek for my images maybe i think i'll find them somewhere not in the downloads but uh, in a folder i think it's compressed so i look for some <coughs> images from here then i put it in the background so please kindly find images but it's not a must you can put a solid color if you don't want to use images but for this uh, i'll use both of them i'll put an image and also i'll put a solid color then on that solid color i would want also to put uh, maybe a gradient or i just put a, a color and then reduce the opacity of that so that it can bring something uh, beautiful so for example i like this picture i can just uh, drag it this is it was during a, a youth meeting in our church so i can just drag it and drop again here in uh, this my software 
and uh, and uh, as it loads i want to tell you if you if you hear some uh, noise in the background kindly know that i'm working from home now i'll also want to resize this image so that it, it fits here so i'll hold shift and uh, alt at the same time and then resize from the corners remember to resize from the corners if you resize from uh, uh, the center it will it won't be uniform so make sure that you're resizing from the corners and make sure that it is covering the whole of this uh, the whole of this uh, uh, our our preset or our size of the paper so this black black thing shows where the this let me not call it a thing it's a margin so this black margin shows the uh, the boundary to where our preset reaches that is a three and it is landscape so <clears throat> after i've resized that you can see it is now on top of my image my main image remember this is not my main image this is just but a background so what i want to do is i want to send it to uh, the back so what you can do you can select it right click then say arrange then you can send to back uh, or the, the shortcut is shift plus control plus this parenthesis so I can just say uh, I right click say arrange then send to back then it will be automatically sent to back then this will be brought uh, to the front now I said also I will also want to draw a rectangle on top of this and make it have a, a solid color and then on that solid color I'll reduce its opacity and opacity is the clarity or the intensity of that uh, color that you've put so I'll just come here the shortcut for this tool is M I will just take the normal rectangle then I'll come to the edge of this page and then I draw a, a rectangle that is the size of my uh, my paper that is a three my preset and I would want also to choose a color I'll remove the stroke and just remain with the color and maybe choose a color uh, I like the color for Instagram there's a color that Instagram uses I think it's this one you can choose any color that suits you or you can choose the color of your church maybe if your church is using blue and black or blue and white or blue and red you'll want to, cho to choose one of the colors then you will use them here so for example you want to use this color I don't know its name but I like it and the, th the thing is I want also to send it back so that it is not even uh, uh, making this uh, uh, or it's 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 uh, it's not showing my real picture or my main picture so i right click arrange then i will send to backward what i am doing is that i'm sending it step by step when you say send backward it is sending step by step but if you say send to back it automatically sends to the back so i want just it to be uh, back on the the main image but it will be on top of my background so i'll just send it to back that way so it will be uh, on top of my background but again it will be uh, at the back of my uh, image i don't know if you understand that english but i hope you will understand <clears throat> so i will select it as i said i would i want to reduce its opacity and i said the opacity of this image uh, or this solid color is that it is the intensity of that color so if i reduce it you can see you are at least now revealing the background if i reduce it to zero it's like i've done nothing but so i want it to be at least uh, <clears throat> at least somewhere like uh, maybe 86 or 85 so that at least you see there is something in the background we can do final touches during the end of this tutorial maybe to just make sure that the image or the poster is well lit so for uh, ideally i am about to <laughs> i mean finish this but again uh, we want to have some few things like now we need text we are through with the background we are through with the images the images are very well the images are quality and now what we want is we need now the text now i would want just to create a new layer you just come here and click here create new layer then i would want to lock this layer the reason why i'm locking it is that i don't want to alter any uh, position of that image i just need them to be uh, that way if i come here if i select the layer and come here you'll realize that i cannot edit anything here i cannot edit it i cannot even place it anywhere else the reason is i've locked that layer so what i want to do on this second layer or layer number two i just want to put there some uh, uh, texts and logos and so on and so forth so the first thing i want to do i want to have my logo for my church so what i'll come to do i'll, I'll look for my logo i think is in the logos and uh, uh, just allow it to load mm, is it I think 
I had a good logo. <coughs> yeah, this one. So I just drag it and uh, place it here. Place it here. Then I would also want to resize. It's too small, so I'll resize. And uh, I want it to fit somewhere here. And I'll just resize it so that it, it looks pretty good. So for example, it can still be there. Then I also want to now start texting. So I'll just either hit uh, uh, T on the keyboard or just come and select this for text. Then I will type my text. For example, my church is called International Vision Center. So I'll, I'll write that and want also to resize it. Uh, remember from the corners, I've, uh, you hold shift and uh, place it here then the next thing i want to do is i want now to choose a font style so the, to choose a font style you can just click here and just look for the font that will suit you but if you know the fonts in offered you can just type it for example for me i like a font called railway so i'll just type railway and take this heavy heavy one then i will uh, make this a bit big and uh, i'll place it somewhere here and then you'll realize that this color, uh, the, the background of my color does not suit black. So I'll want to choose uh, a white color for my text, for my title. So I'll choose, uh, you can type here uh, F, 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 uh, triple F, triple F, or just drag this to the corner and just say OK. Then it will be that way. <clears throat> then the next thing I want to do, like this church has so many branches and uh, for me to differentiate it from other branches then I will put the place at which it's found so I can just still use the same same uh, uh, text I just copy it and and uh, write it uh, sorry I think I pressed something wrong I just use the same then put the place where it is found it's a place called Sinyalu and also I now want to place it somewhere here and maybe reduce the size uh, this way, not that, maybe to that point and uh, place it. I think it's even well placed. I can use the arrow keys to please place it a bit higher. So I have the name of the church. I have the place where it is found. Now what I need is the topic or I, I can be a little bit uh, classy so that I, <clears throat> I can draw a small uh, rectangle and put in like I was thinking like if someone is watching it live like because of this pandemic most people are having live streams so I would also want to have a live stream so I would want people to go and watch it so what I'll do I'll come here and just pick the pen tool uh, the shortcut is P and uh, I want now to draw a simple uh, maybe it's something like a parallelogram or I don't know it's a twisted it's I think as a not even a rhombus because it has uh, it's just a rectangle but it's a bit twisted so what i'll do is i'll put here my start point you if you don't know how to use the pen tool you can visit one of my tutorials i have tutorials uh, uh, designed for this so i'll also put here another one so this these are anchor points that i'm placing and i'll make sure that they are uh, straight if you want to make sure that it's straight you hold shift and then click it will be straight and uh, again here here it's a bit you use a lot of approximations and all that but at least make sure that it's something presentable and then I close it so I'll give it a color for example if I give it red uh, red is uh, 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 double F double zero double zero put it there like that then on top of this I want now to write there uh, something like watch for example if I want people to watch so I just write watch just like that and then that font style is okay i'll give it white red also is good with white so i'll also put it white this way and uh, just resize it so that it's, 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 it's well seen it's a bit big so i'll also resize it to some place like like that and then i will also want to reduce this so that uh, at least it's it's suiting so that it is suiting here I said that if you hear some background noise, kindly know that I'm working from home. And uh, there, there are sometimes I cannot uh, even uh, uh, control that, but I hope you understand. I'm sorry for that. So I will also want to reduce this uh, just like uh, this uh, and uh, reduce it so that if it is uh, like this, 
yeah i think this is beautiful now what what next i want to do is i want to write the topic and the, and i want the topic to be catchy i want someone to really see it so uh, for example if i say um if the topic is we shall overcome just for example i'm not saying that is the topic but if the topic is we shall overcome i may want to uh, put it that way then resize it again and i'll do some things like overcome i want to give overcome a lot of uh, uh, clarity or opacity or uh, uh, i don't know how to put it but i just need that that overcome to be seen like it's the main uh, thing so i'll also uh, put it down like that and then i'll uh, resize it so that it's a uh, big enough for someone to see it and then if i want to uh, really people to know that really we shall overcome or someone to when when he looks at this poster what does he see in the beginning so what you'll see is that we shall overcome that is the message i want to send so i'll make sure that it's big enough and i also want to make sure that uh, overcome is bold so for example i can i can make this one i can choose from here and then make this uh, maybe semi bold so that overcome is a bit bigger than that and uh, i'll change the color the color i can change both of them to be white i give it white uh, like that i'm using white because it's easier for me i like black and white but I, you will want to now know which color suits you and i said you may want to choose the color of your church and to still give it more weight i now want to uh, for example i can just copy this I can copy this uh, rectangle that I drew. Remember, I drew earlier using uh, the pen tool. So I don't want to draw it again. I just want to copy it. So I'll hold Alt and then just drag outside. Then I'll I'll come here and make sure that it is well resized, uh, just like that. Uh, so give me some few seconds. I resize it, just like that. <coughs> I said I don't have the the energy to stop some of the background noise, but I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope that this pandemic will really end soon. And, and really, I truly hope that we shall overcome this. <clears throat> now, you can see now at least uh, this has uh, uh, some some uh, energy. For example, I think I can choose an, a different color. Maybe I can choose something close to orange or yellow um orange or yellow like like this and then i would orange or yellow will go well with black so i would want to choose this black so that even someone can really spot the difference in this poster and choose black just like that um i can also i think it's too big so i can really select both of them and uh, reduce them so that it's not even uh, it's not too big because it's also to lose the the design of this poster and also uh, i would want these two to be somewhere here so that we tell someone watch so it watch we shall overcome i think we are we are doing well now the next thing i would want to put there is the name of the preacher after the title of the of the the topic of the day now what i want is who is preaching or who is uh, giving that talk during that day so I would, I would just like to write his name so for example I can say by sorry say to by Rev Benedict soon it's good to write all his names so that someone can uh, really find who is this talking uh, today and uh, I think someone can even go online and find something about benedict and maybe that sunday he will tune in and listen to this so i'll just write there by benedict Musundi so that someone will know that this topic is going to be uh, taught by benedict Musundi. now the next thing i want to have is uh, i want to have now uh, the verse of the day so for example 
I can just give a call to my pastor and say, hello pastor, now I just want to design a poster for Sunday. What verse or what book will you be talking about? So and he will tell me, hey son, I'm so glad that you called. I would like to talk about uh, we shall overcome and the main scripture will be, for example, Ecclesiastes chapter 11. So what I want to do, I want to write that exactly the way he said. So I can really, I can still write the name of the book if it is the whole book, I, I, it's okay, but if if it's possible, I can quote maybe a verse from there, if I still have time. But for this tutorial, I just want to write Ecclesiastes. The shortcut for Ecclesiastes is ECC, I mean ECC, then I say chapter 11, just like that. And if he has the key verse, maybe uh, verse 6 is the key verse, so I'll give it verse 6, so that someone would also go and read, and if they have time, they can read the whole Ecclesiastes so that they can get that. So I'll just say verse uh, or key verse. So it depends with the, how you like it, but I just want to write verse, then full colon Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 6. And then I'll put it under this, uh, this, uh, this, his name. So we are about to finish this. So the next thing I want to think of is I want to think of the the time at what time will he be teaching this or at what time will he be going live so for example if he's going live i mean sorry live at uh, say it's 12 or 11 uh, a.m uh, east african time or eastern uh, eastern time so i'll just say uh, time for example time then i say it is maybe 11 so 11 full colon 00 a.m Maybe he's taking one hour, maybe to 12, full colon, 00, zero uh, it's still AM or PM, let me just call it PM, and if it is East Africa time, just say East EST for that. So someone, if someone is, uh, is seeing this poster from uh, US or other abroad countries, he will know the time that he will tune in, because if you just put the 11 AM to, uh, to 12, Remember that is just East, East African time, but for those people who are not in Africa or are not in East Africa, they'll be confused. So a bit put there some content, just put the EST to show that it is uh, East African time. So that is the time, and I want to think of now the date. You can just say we welcome you for our Sunday uh, Sunday preaching. Uh, Sunday is still okay because Sunday is a day of course someone will if you sing it on Tuesday he will know on Sunday there is something being taught but then I want to assume that you really want to put some content in. you want to show that this person it is this date so what I'll have to do is I'll, I'll have also to write the date or I can still copy you see I like copying because sometimes you don't have time to go and uh, draw these things but I just need to for example if I I copy this and I said I'm showing you how I usually do my, my things. So most of these things, maybe you'll find them uh, on my page. If you go to Facebook and search Director Duncan A. Kazungu, or you search Business Opportunities, or you search Aero Productions, you'll find some of my uh, posters that I've made. And you'll realize there are some uh, similarities between what I'm doing and what is already there. So for example, I'll just write there Sunday. If I don't want to write the the date uh, maybe you don't want to have the date there and this time i want to change the font style i've used this for so much there is a font also i like it's called lato i'll just click lato and put it uh, like uh, uh, black then i will also want to change it to white i said i like black and white so whether i'm using too much of white and too much of black please don't worry it's just only because i like uh, white and I think they are colors that uh, I, I think they are beautiful uh, just from the word uh, go so I will also want to change this some people don't like red so they'll think oh Kazungu you are designing things and you're putting a lot of red someone will say that you know we don't like red and all that and all that so what I want to do is I want to change the color to something like blue like our church is using blue and green and white so I would want to put sky, sky blue just like that and then 
I don't know how to put the date. I need to put it in a different way. I don't want to put it like any other date so that someone can see some design. You see, design is not the complexity of that poster. It is the simplicity of that poster, but that poster has to communicate something to the people. So what I want to do is I want to create something a bit uh, catchy like that. I put just here like... Uh, it's pretty good i put there it's a, a normal rectangle and then i want to assume like for example what is the date on uh, this coming sunday for example it is 28th so what i'll have to do is just to uh, type here 28 just like that then uh, i think that font is okay then uh, i'll resize it and maybe i want to resize it using this Place it there. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll still use white. Uh, but if you find it boring, kindly use another color. I don't want to go and look for other colors, you know, and all that. Just want to use this. I want to assume it's 28th and this month is on June. So it is 6. Uh, uh, as a digit, we'll call it 6. But it's June. I know you know it's June. So I'll give it maybe 06, for example. And then I'll also place it here. And uh, I'll make sure that... They are at least on the same line then at the center i want to think maybe put there something like an ellipse an ellipse uh maybe a circle i'll have the ellipse tool then i'll draw a perfect circle and this circle i want to give it blue 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 and red i think they're okay i'll now put red you you look at the colors that are matching please don't just mismatch things here then i'll put it at the center and uh, when it's there i'll make sure that it is a bit a reasonable size not just any size a reasonable size something like like something like a dot but i, I do want to just put their full stop so that's why i opted for that and if they are far from each other at least i can uh, push this to my left and uh, push this a bit just like that so that at least someone can see the contrast in the two so I'll also resize this so that uh, it's not that way uh, far from each other. And then I'll also select both of them. Just left click and drag and place it uh, here. here. So for example, I'll have communicated that this is on a Sunday and the date of this Sunday is this. So I think I'll make this a bit smaller. Sometimes when you make it bigger, it loses the shape or the design that you want to achieve. I'll also want to make this a bit small so that they don't just fill up the space and, you know, the difference is the same. So I'll put it maybe under my time so that someone will know. Now this is the time and this is the day. So we have communicated, we have put a number of things, we have put the title, we have put the verse, we have put the speaker, the name of the church, the logo of the church, and we have put the time and the date at which this uh, pastor will be talking about. Now the last thing I want to do, like for example this one, I am directing people to go and watch online. So where am I going to put it online? For example, I am doing it on Facebook or on YouTube. So I would want to direct people to my Facebook page. I would want to uh, direct people on my YouTube page. So those are the two that I'm going to put here. So I'll look for a logo. A logo for for uh, YouTube and uh, maybe for, what do you call it, for, for Facebook. So I'll go to my icons and uh, <clears throat> I'll, pick, I'll pick which one. Let me take YouTube and then pick Facebook. So these two, drag and drop. I said drag and drop is the easiest way. But again, if you can use Control shift p you can if you use uh, Control o it's upon you. But I guess this is the easiest way. And then uh, I want to place it here and uh, resize it because it's too big. Just resize it and place it here. Then pick also this, put it here. And uh, I zoom in so that I am seeing what I'm doing and uh, i also at least resize it to something that is uh, presentable just like that so if it's still big you'll also want to reduce it so uh let's see them think here then i would want to tell people uh maybe find us live on 
just like that just something like a title and uh, maybe I can still place it here then I take this I just copy <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm tired of writing these things so oh, I'm sorry if you see me copy copying things here it's just because I'm I, I think I need to save time you see so I'll put the username or the name of my Facebook page for example ours is IVC Shinyalu so that is our name the name of the page and then the name of our YouTube is called IVC is usually international international vision center Shinyalu just like that so these are the usernames that uh, someone will uh, find us on and uh, when someone will also be looking on this he'll say oh yeah maybe these people have something i'll resize it and uh, place it there and uh, i would also want to use white i'm using white to be consistent and remember when you're designing a professional poster like this you have to use uh, at least three colors at most four do not use so many colors you know it will be boring it will be very very much boring so please make sure that you're using something that is i mean colors that are at least three or at most four please don't overuse uh, these colors then i'll just give it black you'll say because we are using a lot of uh, white uh, let me <laughs> give you black and on this find us on, on live on i just want to put there like if i can just put a small dash like an underline then i give it white <coughs> i give it white just like that yeah so it will look like i mean like i'm emphasizing on live you see someone is saying us live it's, 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 it's a trick you know some people when someone is looking at the poster there are key things that someone wants to see and these are exactly what you want to do so that someone may want also to find you then i think the poster is well set maybe the last thing you have to do is i put their contact for example someone want to contact me so wh where will they find me so i'll just say uh for more information or for yeah just like just like adverts when people say for more information find us on or contact us via so i just want to put something close to that so i'll copy this and just text and say um, for more info uh contact us uh contact us via i'm sorry the rain is about to rain should I say that way? No, I should say it is about to rain, so I'm sorry for that. So and I put there a number, for example, 0798765432. That is the number that, uh, that we shall use for this tutorial. Please, this is not my number. I'm just guessing it. And I hope it's not someone's number. Then I place, I, I place it down here. So for more info, contact us via this. I'm rereading this because sometimes you may write... Uh, <laughs> Or English, or you may misspell some things, so please kindly reread through what you've written. So, ideally, I am through with this poster. And I, if you can look at it, at least it is from scratch, we have achieved something like this. And Mary, I think this is beautiful. This is something that when you present to someone or when you post it, someone will say, ah, This church is serious, at least let me wait until that day on Sunday and I will be watching this. Now, the next or the last thing I want to do is now to render it or to save it as a picture so that I can share on WhatsApp, I can share on Instagram, I can share on Facebook and so on and so forth. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll come, you can save it as a PDF or an AI so that if you need to change it, if they need to change a picture or you, or you can save it as a template, so you can save it as a PDF for you to come later on and re-edit it and maybe change the photos and, and so on and so forth. So, for example, I just want to uh, save it as a picture so uh, so that I can share it. And uh, you realize that Adobe Illustrator does not give you an option for saving it as uh, for saving it as uh, what we call it. If you just come to save and you want to save it as uh, maybe as a, uh, a JPEG, you won't save it unless you save it as an SVG. It can it's also a picture. But there's no picture version here. It's either a IPDF, I mean, 
eps and so on but what i want to do is i want to save it as a picture so what i want to do i can come here and say export then i can export us but the problem with exporters you realize that when you export it it will also export these things that are outside this uh, working space or artboard it will export things that are even outside the artboard but that is not what i want i only want things that are inside the artboard that are inside the size that we chose that is a three so what i want to do is i'll come and say uh file export then i'll save for web legacy so or the shortcut is alt plus shift plus control plus s so i just click there then it gi give it some few seconds to load <clears throat> and as it loads if you are new to this channel i would like you to subscribe and uh, hit that uh, bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i upload new uh, stuff so uh, yeah it has loaded and uh, i'll just put it to fit so that it's fitting on the screen then this is what you've designed you can see it's pretty good then i can come here and choose the output like i need a jpeg so i'll choose a jpeg and this is this is the resolution i need the maximum so i chose maximum and other things quality 100 percent leave it that way blah is zero uh matte is uh, or matte is white then you can just recheck if the size is okay so the size is pretty good so what i want to do is just to say save then it will redirect me to my local disks so for example i'll i'll save it in ai uh, you can see it's a directory new volume d ai jpegs and that is exactly where i want it to go and i'll save it as tutorial one because there's no any other uh, uh, image called tutorial one or i can change it to the name of the chart if i want so i can just hit save so once that is done it is already saved i'll come now to my local disk d and look for my poster it was in ai and then it was in jpeg and uh, in jpeg i called it tutorial so i guess it's here at uh, the bottom here the way is t let me just t uh where is the tutorial one i think it's here give it some time to load i'm sorry if you cannot hear me well it's because it's about to rain and i just want to hurry up to show you this so that i can close and uh, you have a nice time as you practice this and i've said if you're new to this please kindly uh, uh what do you do you subscribe to my youtube channel so that i, I can uh, achieve these goals that i want and through this support this is a beautiful thing that you'll be doing to me and i will appreciate and you can if this tutorial is really helpful for you you can even share it to your friends in other churches so that they can create simple and perfect or beautiful posters so let's give it some few minutes at this as it loads and uh just want to tell my friend Mary, I hope this really helped you and thank you for sending me this email because I know it is also a blessing to other people and I help churches create posters, create new live streams in a beautiful way. So if you find this uh, stuff uh, beautiful, kindly subscribe. Now this is what you've created and I hope that this is a beautiful poster that you can share to people and people can really tune in on Sunday and watch your live stream. So let's meet in the next tutorial and i hope that this will really be a blessing to everyone who is watching blessings